Aliens Say the Damnedest Things. I've been reading a lot of the late John Keel's writings lately. Yes, the Mothman prophecies John Keel. Currently, I just finished his seventh book, The Eighth Tower. The Eighth Tower is primarily Keel's dissertation on where he thinks UFOs come from. I shan't recount that here, other than to say that he and I broadly agree. That is, they ain't aliens. Keel attempted, rather successfully, to extract the common factors from historically broad sources where humans described being contacted by beings of higher intelligence than your average human, be they angels, gods, or what have you along those lines, plus demons, fairies, animals with self-glowing eyes, usually red, and of course, saucer people, you know, little gray aliens with no genitalia, tall, blonde, Nordic types, the woo-hoo type Sasquatch, also with glowing red eyes, and the nearly endless variety of humanoid and non-humanoid buggers with their seemingly near-magical flying vehicles. He noted that you could roughly divide this wide variety of beings into those who were benevolent, those who were malevolent, and those just downright wacky ones. The benevolent beings typically told the contactees that, one, the contactee was to deliver a message, two, the message from, from a god or some sort of universal council of higher beings. Three, humanity was on average very naughty and needed to be gooder. And four, humanity had better listen and obey or else. The malevolent beings usually didn't have much to say but just radiated nasty feelings. However, the message I liked most was delivered on November 7, 1957. I shall quote Keel. On November 5th through 6th, 1957, there were several UFO landings and contacts throughout the United States. Yellowish-green UFO knots spoke briefly in broken English to startled motorists on a highway near Playa del Rey, California, on the night of November 6th, while a truck driver near House, Mississippi, was being confronted by a group of pasty-faced shorties who babbled in a language he couldn't understand. The next morning, Everett Clark of Dante, Tennessee, reportedly saw a glowing object in a field outside his house. German-speaking UFO knots were apparently trying to catch his dog. Many miles away, a New Jersey farmer named John Trasco was chasing a little man with large bulging bullfrog-like eyes off his property. We are a peaceful people, the little man protested. We don't want no trouble. We just want your dog. You may read the text of this on my blog at bydean.com. That's B-H-A-I-D-I-N dot com.